This video is brought to you by EA How To Plus. EA How To Plus is the most valuable resource for assistants at every stage of their career. By joining, you'll get access to replays of amazing webinars for talented assistants just like you. You'll also be invited to private group coaching exclusively for Plus members. EA How To Plus is undoubtedly the most valuable resource an assistant can have. To become a member, visit eahowto.com forward slash eahowto plus or click the link in the video description. Today, we're talking about job searching tips for executive and personal assistants. There are 10 tips to go through. Are you ready? Tip number one is to have your LinkedIn profile in excellent shape. At a minimum, you need to actually be on LinkedIn. Why? Because more often than not, your LinkedIn profile is being used as your CV, whether you know it or not. Privacy policies can prohibit the sharing of personal information, including CVs, but this doesn't apply to your LinkedIn profile. You want to make yourself as visible as possible, and this is the place to start. Recruiters are always searching LinkedIn for the perfect candidate. They can't find you if you're not there. Next, you need to have an appropriate profile picture for the kind of role you're seeking, have a banner image, make sure your job title is clear, and you need a keyword optimized personal summary. You also need an accurate employment and education history. I could do an entire video dedicated just to LinkedIn, and I'm sure I will, but for now, I'll just say at least be there with an up-to-date profile. Tip number two, have a Word and PDF copy of your CV up to date and ready to send. Straight on to tip number three, create a job seeker tracker. I say create, but I've actually included a link to a template I made for you in the video description, so you can use that. This tracker is going to help you keep track of all of your applications and your progress. It's important to make sure you're being efficient and to make sure when you get a call, you're not confused by which role the person's talking about because you've applied for so many. It also makes it super easy to follow up after you've applied. And yes, you should be following up. Tip number four, make a list of recruiters for your location and industry. You're going to add all of the recruiters to your tracker and you're going to set up meetings with them. Do not just email them and hope to hear back. Pick up the phone and build a relationship. Ideally, set up a meeting so they can see how spectacular you are, and then, most importantly, stay in touch. This isn't a set it and forget it situation. You want to be at the front of the recruiter's mind when they come across a brilliant role they need to fill. So, if they host events, attend them. Go and make friends. Which brings me to tip number five. Work your network. Don't wait until you need a work network to build a network. Reach out to your previous employers and managers, ask if they know of any opportunities, attend functions, training sessions, make an effort to get out and speak to people. Build relationships. Number six, apply on LinkedIn, but don't put all of your eggs in the LinkedIn basket. Yes, of course people get jobs they apply for on LinkedIn, but you're often one of hundreds, sometimes thousands of applicants. There are also some recruiters who post jobs that don't exist just to get you to register with them. Look and apply via LinkedIn and other job sites too, of course, but don't do a one-click application, times it by 50, and think that you don't need to register with recruiters or do anything else. Tip number seven, have a basic cover letter template and adapt it to each job. It is easy to get lazy with the cover letter. I get it, especially when you're applying for a lot of jobs. But it is one of your only chances to show your personality and explain who you are and what you're looking for. It's important. Tip number eight, attend networking events. People help and hire people they know and like. It's that simple. If no one knows about you, no one can recommend you or put you in touch with their contacts. Tip number nine, it's often easier said than done, but please stay positive. I know it's hard, I've been there. You will go through phases of feeling defeated and maybe worse, but you keep going because you have to, and you will succeed. It may take time and you may need to kiss a lot of frogs, but it will happen for you. 
And finally, tip number 10, be engaged. Get involved in conversations on LinkedIn. Get involved in your local and virtual networking groups. Be an engaged member of your community and make sure you're visible. You want people to immediately think about you when they come across an opportunity. I'm often contacted regarding EA roles because of the size of my network and the EA how-to community. When these opportunities come up, I immediately think of the people who are helpful in the group. The people who are active with posting and commenting and attending events. Because I come across job opportunities every so often, I've created a sign up page where you can register for job alerts. This is free and it is separate from the normal EA House Your mailing list. It is a global list because we are a global community. And so if you're looking for an EA, PA or VA position, please do register and if I have an opportunity I'll, I think you want to hear about, I'll get in touch. You can sign up for job notifications by visiting eahowto.com and clicking on job alerts. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to get your job tracker template. There's a link to that in the video description and I'll see you in the next video.